too much more rain for the southeast this week, but heavy rain for the tropics. Before we get to that, a bit of a recap. Nearly each and every day in the last week, we've actually seen isolated showers and storms for the ranges of New South Wales and the Gippsland of Victoria. You can see that behind me. This is a time lapse taken around the Tamworth area yesterday. But it's only been bringing isolated totals, maybe as much as around 10 millimeters or so. We got more of that this week. And the only thing it's really doing is bringing relief from the oppressive heat of the day. You can see those flashes of showers and storms on the ranges nearly each and every afternoon there. We have a band of rain moving over the southeast today, getting heavier tomorrow. Not too much, generally less than a millimeter or two for it. And then some heavier rain over parts of the pastures of the Yarra Peninsula this weekend, dissipating the thundery showers by the time we get to Monday. On Monday, Tuesday, though, the Kimberley could start to see some action in the tropics. That's good. It's been a pretty bad wet season for them so far. And that moisture could then link up with what looks to be a strong low-pressure system and cold front moving over the southeast, bringing a band of thundery rain right across from the Kimberley down to southeastern parts of Australia. But we need a little bit more model uncertainty before we're going to go for that scenario. Let's take a look at how everything's shaping up, though. Today's forecast rain, generally less than a millimeter for the rain that we're seeing over the southeast today. Heaviest in Tasmania, maybe about 2 to 5 for some elevated areas there. And of course, the chance of showers and storms in the tropic, averaging about 5 millimeters, but of course, isolated totals well in excess of 50 millimeters. On Friday, a band of rain continuing to move over the southeast. That'll help bring some cooling. But as you can see here, the average totals are less than a millimeter or so, so it's not really going to be doing much, generally just settling the dust for some areas. On Saturday, it dries up. But showers and storms are likely on the ranges, particularly southeast parts of New South Wales, and even a risk around the Bega area, we could get some severe storms there on Saturday and Sunday. Also, a band of heavier rain moving throughout parts of the Europe Peninsula, but even this model not picking much more than one to five millimeters out of that one. So we move to Monday, that's when the tropics start becoming a little bit more active, particularly around the Kimberley region. Potentially some heavy showers and storms there, maybe some isolated totals in excess of 70 millimeters. That will then potentially link up with the system rolling over the southeast and start to draw that rain showers and storms further into the interior and the southeast. Taking a look at the rain over the next eight days, what you're seeing here is the result of isolated showers and storms in the afternoon. Don't expect more than about 10 millimeters, and it's not going to be widespread at all. We got some rain as well moving over the southeast, settling the dust, bringing around one to five millimeters. It's not that much at all. In some places, they'll miss out entirely. It'll just be cloudy. The heaviest rain this week will be in the tropics, of course, in the Kimberley region, potentially looking to get some good rainfall from Monday onwards. Average rainfall, potentially over 50 millimeters. The weekend is not too far away, so let's take a look at the forecast. Now, in terms of rainfall, we are expecting to see further showers and storms across the northern tropics of the country. Also, a few showers likely in the southeast and for parts of South Australia. In terms of temperatures, we will see a bit of a reprieve from the heat wave moving in Saturday into Sunday across parts of New South Wales and the southeast. But for Western Australia, the heat will be dragging down to the southwest as we see temperatures climbing. For Perth, 37 degrees, the forecast for Saturday. Adelaide, a maximum of 30 degrees. 28 degrees, the forecast in Sydney. Now, on Sunday, Perth heating up to a top of 40 degrees. Sydney, a, a fairly mild 26 degrees and warming up once again for you in Adelaide with a top of 32 degrees. Dry and sunny in Hobart with a maximum temperature of 27. <laughs> It's been hot and the vegetation throughout much of Australia is dry right now. Unfortunately, coupled with dry lightning strikes, it's been responsible for a number of fires starting in parts of Tasmania, Mount Eliza, for instance, and also parts of eastern Victoria, the Gippsland region. A number of dry lightning storms leading to what looks like a number of fires over the course of yesterday. The risk of that actually continues because the heat is set to continue over the next few days and build again next week. Looking at the forecast temperature today, widespread 40 degree heat, northern Victoria, western New South Wales, even pockets of the east, 45 degree heat there. And also some gusty breezes in the afternoon over the south. That's led to severe fire danger right from northern Victoria, the Mallee, the Wimmera, stretching up to the Flinders, mid-north, and Mount Lofty Ranges, even the Air Peninsula, with New South Wales here seeing also elevated fire danger. Thursday seeing very high fire danger, very high fire danger as well in Tasmania. 
As we move ahead, we're going to see a bit of a cool change move with southeast. Thursday afternoon, so this afternoon, and into Friday afternoon, it'll really develop. You can see where the hot air is being separated here. But unfortunately, that also increases the wind speed across New South Wales. Friday, for you in New South Wales, looks like a bad day for fires. Widespread fire danger there and severe fire danger for parts of the southern slopes and ranges, as you can see. Remember, in severe fire danger, when fires start, they can become unpredictable and move quickly. You need to know what you're going to be doing in the event of a bushfire near you, even if you live in places like the greater Hunter, Sydney, and Illawarra, Shoalhaven regions. Forecast temperature into Saturday shows that we'll see some cooling for parts of New South Wales, dropping the temperature slightly, but still remaining fairly hot in other areas. That means we're still going to see pockets of elevated fire danger. And then for Western Australia, that's when the fire danger starts to increase this weekend as it gets quite hot there, potentially touching the high 30s on Saturday and maybe even 40s by the time we get to Sunday. Look at that widespread 40 degree heat there. And so the fire danger shifts from the east, moving to the west this weekend with widespread, very high fire danger, pockets of severe fire danger in the Wheatbelt region.